I'm going to move on now uh, back against again across the Atlantic. Uh, if Adrian, that's where you are, but Adrian is going to talk to us about this new UI that I'm salivating for. So Adrian, take it away talking about Trinity. Hi, Martin. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, right, I'm going to show my screen. You can't tell Adrian is in Great Britain, so just FYI. <laughs> I hope people are seeing that. Not seeing it yet. Not yet. All right, sorry, just bear with me. I think uh, the permissions thing. Um, All right, that's great news. Uh, well, I'll keep on. I'll start talking while I'm actually trying to. Uh, Chrome is not letting me share my screen, which is uh, pretty irritating. Uh, right. So, so basically, um, Trinity is a code word for uh, a new portal for Sakai Twenty Three, right? And that is that is it's a project that's been going on now for um, I don't know, probably around six months. Really, it was started by. Um, Mike Green from Duke and Sean Foster from from Western, and uh, the main aim, you know, they were looking for was was to try and actually, um, you know, clean up, clean up the way that sites are uh, are actually uh, rendered. You know, I'm still trying to share my screen. This is really irritating. Sorry about this. Adrian, are the slides somewhere that I can access them and I can share from here? Uh, they're not slides. I'm doing a live demo. So. Oh, well, forget it then. You want me to show Trunk? Yes, we can do okay. that. Let me do that. Okay, you should be seeing it, right? Yeah. You want me to log in as a particular user, admin, faculty? Um, we can start by you can start by logging in as uh, probably as admin actually. Well, first of all, let's let's still let's still on that screen to start with, right? So so basically, what you're seeing here now is um, it's the gateway site, as we all as we all know, right? Along the top, there's there's basically nothing apart from the login elements. But if you look down the left hand side. Uh, you've got the gateway site and you've got all the tools kind of expanded from the gateway site right at the moment it looks pretty much the same as the current gateway site looks because we have the tools already listed on the left hand side yeah um but as we log in you'll see you'll see the difference so yeah log in is admin please all right okay um okay so again along the top this is the main this is the main this is the main difference we've moved the sites to the left hand column basically uh you know the sites don't pile up in the top bar anymore there's no drop downs in the top bar there's no star in the top bar everything is down the left hand side and um, this this is this is really nice for you know especially for things like mobile views right you've just got something you can scroll down yeah so your sites just they get stacked to the left hand side and you literally just drop down you know, drop down the list of tools. See, Wilma's, Wilma's piling through here. She's, she's clicking everything here. Right. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah. So, if you look at that current site now, uh, if you want to go back, go back to home, Wilma, please. Yeah, right, okay. If you collapse, collapse home there, I mean home. All right, so... Uh, Below that, you see it, there's a new section called pin sites. So pin pin sites is a replacement for the uh, you know the starred sites, your favourite sites, and they now appear in in their own section. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom there, Wilma, please, and you know the left hand side there. All right, cool. So down at the bottom, you'll see there's another section, most recent sites. So Sakai is now 
basically storing or you know, you know kind of rendering your most you know your three most recent sites is configurable in a Sakai property. Um, but let's say you didn't pin any sites, you didn't you know in the old terminology favorite any sites. If you didn't if you didn't pin any sites, you'd still see most recent sites showing you know the three most recent sites you visited. Yeah, so that's that's quite a nice that's that's quite a nice thing, and that's that's a big difference to you know, to how, uh, to, you know, Sakai 22 currently works. Uh, if you, if you pin a site, <laughs> is that Wilma or Adrian? <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> That's Wilma, I think. Yeah. If you, oh, sorry, if you were, uh... I, I was muted. That was my dog. I apologize. That's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's, uh, it's cool. Uh, if you if you pin a site, that site won't appear in most recent sites because you've already pinned it, right? So there's, you know, we've tried to make we've tried to make the left hand bar, you know, reasonably smart, right? So it doesn't duplicate the site. So the current site you you're in, uh, that won't show in recent sites at that point, right? So you're not going to see the same site like three times down the left hand side, right? You should only see it once. There may be a couple of bugs in this. I'm not too sure, but I think we've got most of that sorted out. Um, you don't favorite sites anymore. You pin them, right? So um, if you can scroll down, actually, no, 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 don't scroll. If you look on the top bar there to the right hand side, right near the avatar, there's the waffle, right? Yeah, please, please click that. Right. So, so, so um, with the initial designs, uh, we, we weren't going to have the waffle. Uh, at the top there, right? We were just going to have it, have it at the bottom of the actual, uh, you know, the left hand, the left hand bar. But I've put the waffle in the top bar as well to to keep some familiarity with the twenty two interface. Yeah, so I'm sure you all recognise it's the you know it's the more sites model. Yeah, so in, in here you can you can pin sites, you can unpin them, you can you can reorder stuff as in the past, right? But all all I've all, all we've basically done is move it into. Uh, you know, into a bootstrap model, right? So it's, it, I think it looks a bit cleaner. It looks looks quite nice. Uh, but you can pin and unpin things. You can bulk pin and unpin things, just just as you could previously. But we're not using stars. We're using pins, right? Pins are more familiar. So I, I think it's a nice change to to uh, use pins. Okay, if, if you close that one, please. So Sakai remembers, you know, the kind of way you've configured uh, your desktop, right? So if you go to the burger menu, Wilma, top left, and, uh, right. So, so what, what Wilma's doing there, she's just collapsing the sites and tools list down and reopening it as, as, as you could previously, uh, Sakai remembers that. So if you log out and log back in, it'll still be collapsed, right. Or expanded or whatever you've done with it. Also, if you, if you, if you're currently active in a site, in a tool, to carry members that as well. So if you log out and log back, log back in, or click click between different tools, uh, different sites, your settings are remembered. It'll expand the current site that you're in, and it'll it'll actually select the tool that you're using, right? So if you're doing something inside a tool, you're adding new things to lessons, perhaps you're know, new items to lessons. Uh, every time you save that, the lessons tool is still going to be selected, and that's still going to be expanded. It sounds like a small thing, but uh, but it you know it's it makes the experience less jarring. You know, there's, uh, it doesn't feel like you're refreshing the page. It feels like you're just kind of it's kind of still in the same place. Yeah. Um, if you quickly go over to the top again and click on notifications on the bell. Okay, there's no notifications, but this is this is the bullhorns, right? But this this is making heavy use of Bootstrap Five. So Bootstrap Five has got these things called uh, sidebars. And we're using those for the uh, for the for the tool menus. One minute warning, thank you. Uh, we're using that for the notifications. Uh, if you click on the search icon there, yep, that's a sidebar. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot more consistent because we're heavily using Bootstrap Five for all these design elements that you see, uh, you know, on this on this on this kind of new layout. That needs a little bit of work, but uh, it's getting there. Um, that's kind of it. I mean, that's kind of it, really. You know, the, the big shift is moving the sites to the left, right? That's going to be the big kind of kind of shock to the system, right, for people, right? The sites are on the left. They're not at the top anymore. But we've left the waffle there in the top, so you can open your more size drawer. So hopefully that helps. That's a gateway into this interface for people, you know, a, a little bit of familiarity there. 
Um, your time, Adrian. Yep. Well, that that'll that'll do. That's that's what I wanted to achieve. Right? Th thanks, Wilma. Yeah, I appreciate it, Wilma, for stepping in there, and and hopefully that gets yeah, everybody. Yeah, my salivating. dog says that she appreciated the airtime. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So um, that's it for this lightning talk session. There will be another one uh, later on at 12.30. And Wilma, I'm suddenly thinking, or Josh, uh, what's next? We ought to at least aim people in the right direction before we let them go. Josh, did you wanna? Oh, I certainly can. I was I was thinking that, that, that you would. So so next we've got a, a break for a short period of time here, as I understand it. And then starting at 1110 Eastern will be our featured session. So this is going to be all about the innovations from uh, that, are, that are to come from our Spanish partners. So Daniel Marino from UPN will be presenting on S2U and their their digital plan for innovations in Sakai. So Come back in six minutes for our featured session. It's going to be really interesting. I can't wait. See you all very soon. Thanks, everybody.